High pressure has been in charge across the UK so far this month, and the result, it's been a very dry April so far. The statistics for the first half of the month really backing that up. I'm joined now by Mark McCarthy, climate scientist, whose job it is to analyse all the data. Just how dry has this April been? Uh, well, so far, uh, some of our stations, particularly in South England, have recorded less than one or two millimetres of rainfall, so very notably dry. Uh, and if we look at the chart here, which is showing rainfall across the country for the month so far, the darker brown areas are showing those regions, particularly across England and Wales, that have had less than 20% of uh, the rainfall we'd normally expect during April, and in some places less than 10%. But it's not been dry everywhere? But it's not been dry everywhere, no, so we can see some white and blue areas up here in northern Scotland uh, so up here we have had closer to what we'd expect for the time of year uh, and Castley in Sutherland for example has had up to 105 millimetres so far this month. And how unusual is it to have this sort of lengthy dry spell at this time of year? Uh, well, a sort of high pressure dry spell lasting a couple of weeks during spring in itself is, is not that unusual. Um, one thing we can say is that actually we know that this month is not going to be a record breaker for dry weather. So the driest April in our series with only 14 millimetres on average was way back in 1938 uh, and that's shown in the, the chart here. And have we had dry Aprils more recently than that? Uh, yeah, certainly we have. So a significant dry April uh, more recently was back in 2011, uh, and that was also notable as being the warmest April on our records. It's important to note that we are only halfway through the month in terms of the statistics. It does look as if the next few days will be largely dry, but if you are after some rainfall across the south, there are some signs we may get some on Monday. We'll be sure to keep you updated on that right here at the Met Office.